you guys. Thank you for watching. So this video is going to be a little bit different because I am including two different tutorials. One for my hair and one for my makeup. Um, both my hair and my makeup are inspired by this Brin's trend, which is a no makeup makeup look with a bold lip as well as braids. So if you guys like this look and you want to see how I got it, then please keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is moisturize my lips with my Honey Trap Lip Balm by Lush just to prevent any chapped lips that I have going on. Next thing I'm going to use is my Anti-Puff Eye Roller by Studio Beauty just to get rid of any puffiness under my eyes. Next up is my Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser by Maybelline and I like to put a little bit all over my face and use it as a primer so that my makeup can last all day. Next for foundation, I'm using my Magic Nude Liquid Powder by L'Oreal in the color Natural Beige. I'm just using my stippling brush to apply it all over my face evenly. Next thing I'm going to do is use my concealer, my Boo Boo Cover Up, and just place it at areas where I still see my imperfections peeking through. Only because, you know, the foundation isn't like a full coverage foundation, so it still needs some help. And of course, just blend it together with your fingers, gently, especially under your eyes. You want to do like a dabbing motion. You don't want to just rub it into your eyes, because your under eyes are very sensitive and delicate, so you want to be very gentle. I also dabbed some of the concealer onto my eyelids so that it would act as a primer. Next thing I'm going to use is my Ulta Minerals Finishing Powder and I'm just going to take a brush and apply it at my T-zone area as well as where I put my concealer just to set it. Wow, the lighting's bad. So I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in Medium Deep Matte Bronzer just to bronze up my face a little bit and bring a little bit of contour. Again, you want to keep it as natural as possible so it's not going to be some really sharp contouring going on. Next thing I'm going to use is my Via Bombshell in Sunset. It's a one stick, so you could use that as a lipstick too if you wanted to. But I'm using it as a blush. And I'm just going to put it right above my contouring that I did earlier and just blend it with my fingers. On to the brows. I'm using my BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Trio. I'm using the brow color at the end. It's a powder so I'm not using the gel. And I'm just filling in my brows very lightly just to divide my eyebrows because, as you can see, I have no brows. Then take a spoolie and of course brush the product through your brows just to blend it out. So for my eyes, I'm using the Make Over Essentials palette and I'm picking up a champagne to a light brown color and applying it all over my eyelids as well as in my crease. Um, I wasn't very fond of this palette at first to be honest with you. It was a gift. Um, the colors aren't really pigmented, but if you dip your brush in water or any type of liquid, then it will pick up some more of that color and it's kind of hard to blend. The next thing I'm going to use is the lightest color in the palette, which is like more like an opal whitish color. And I'm going to use it as a highlight to highlight my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes just to brighten up my eyes a little bit. And then I'm going to take that same champagne to light brown color and run it along the lower lash line just to give it some definition. Next 
next I'm going to tight line my eyes with my Ulta Automatic Eyeliner in black. And tight lining is just lining your inner waterline. No wing in this look, guys. Next is to curl your eyelashes. Mine are plain and straight, so it does take me a little while to curl my lashes. So please bear with me. Next is my Miss Manga. Oops, it's upside down. <laughs> my Miss Manga Voluminous in Black Noir by L'Oreal. I just want to apply a generous coat to my top and bottom lashes. On to the lips. So first I'm going to line and prime my lips with my Milani Anti-Feathering Lip Liner in Transparent. This keeps the color from smearing all over the place. So for my lips, I use two different colors. The first one is by Lancome, called Curtain Call in Sheen. And it's very moisturizing. I like this lipstick. <laughs> so next, to darken the color a bit, I'm using my Viva Red Moisture Renew Lipstick by Rimmel. Now I'm just going to take a lip brush and define my outer edges of my lips just to prevent any smearing and whatnot. And now, the makeup portion is done! So I realized that you can't clearly see what I'm doing in the video, so I'm going to try to walk you through it. Um, all I did was I grabbed a section of hair at the top of my head, and then I split that section into three equal parts, just as you would a regular braid. Um, and then I took the right strand and put it over the middle strand, and then the left strand and put it over the middle strand. And then as you move down your head, you would little by little add some more hair onto your right and left strands. And repeat the same pattern until you can't add any more hair onto your two strands. And then by the time you run out of hair, you'll be left with a regular braid. And so you just finish it off like you normally would with a regular braid. And then once you get to the end, just tie it off 